Okay, now we're going to talk about addition of fractions. Addition of fractions can be downright tough for students, especially when the denominators are different. But again, the purpose of this lesson today is to build understanding. It's not to develop an algorithm or a method for adding uh, fractions with like or unlike denominators. We just want to go through the concept of addition, and they know what addition is about. Addition is when you take two quantities and put them together. So if I were to add a third plus a third with my blocks, I would simply add a blue um, plus a blue. And when you add these together, well, we have two pieces. We've already gone over how to say that. That's two-thirds. Now, of course, students are going to notice that when you add the two fractions, the top numbers, the numerators, got added, but the bottom the numbers didn't. And, and actually, we can justify that now. Why don't the bottom numbers change? Well, because we're not changing colors. We're adding a blue to a blue, so it makes sense that our answer should be blue. It also makes sense that our answer should be two blues, because now we have two of those pieces. Imagine if you did make the mistake of adding the numerators to the and the denominators both. We would get an answer of two six, which would be two greens. And obviously, we've got more than two greens here. We've got two blue shapes. So again, one-third plus one-third is two-thirds. Okay, let's try a different one. This time we're going to add a third plus a half. Now, if you look at the sequence of mathematics, we don't add unlike denominators for a long time after we add like denominators, and I'm doing it on my second example. But again, my purpose in today's lesson isn't to teach the algorithm, it's to teach the concept. We can do this with pattern blocks pretty easily. We take a third, which is blue, add it to a half, which is red, and we get this shape, which sort of looks like a Pac-Man type shape. Um, and I'm asking now the question, how could I express that with a single color? The color couldn't be red because we don't have enough red. The color couldn't be blue because you just can't take a red piece and divide it up into blue pieces. But I could take green. And if I took greens, I could take three greens on top, two on the bottom. And now I can say, well, the answer must be five, six. That's five green triangles, five, six. And yes, we'll eventually have to learn how to do this without pattern blocks, but the fact is, with pattern blocks, it isn't that hard to do. Let's do another one. Two-thirds plus a half. Would you do that with your pattern blocks, please? And I'm going to wait just a few minutes and give you a chance to do that and see what answer you get when you add two-thirds plus a half. There's two-thirds. Add two and a half. Now put your pieces together and see what you can make. I think you can see that what we could get out of this would be one and a sixth. So two thirds plus a half must be one and a sixth. Okay, now, let's add mixed numbers. This is not done typically until way after we've added fractions with like and unlike denominators. But with pattern blocks, we can do it on day one. Let's add one and a six plus one and a half. Would you do it, please? Put your pieces together. trade so that you can get the same shape on the last one. And our answer must be two and two-thirds. Here's another one. One and two-thirds plus five-six. Again, addition just means start with one. Put the other with it. See what you got. Now, if you move some of those greens around, you can see that I could make this shape. Or that shape. So the answer must be two and a half. Then I challenge you to add this by the traditional way you were taught. 
and see if you don't get two and a half for an answer. You should. In fact, you have to if you do it right. Because adding with pattern blocks or adding with uh, the traditional method that you would add fractions with have to give you the same answer. Two and a half is the sum of one and two thirds and five sixths. Okay, we've finished with addition now. We're going to go to subtraction next. So when you're ready, click on the next video, which will be about subtraction of fractions.